Hello everybody, thanks for visiting my channel today. And as you can see by the title, um, this is about uh, um, shooting expired 16 millimeter film and asking the question why. And um, about 15, 16 years ago, I got involved with 16 millimeter and I had always wanted to get involved with 16 millimeter, but I just couldn't afford it uh, buying a camera and they were, the ones I wanted were very expensive and I really didn't know a lot about it. But the bottom line was, is I eventually bought a, a K3 and a Krasner Gauss 3, and um, which you, if you saw my previous video, I spoke about that. But today is about uh, sh shooting expired film, and for that matter, even still photography expired film. Why? So I ended up getting, buying some film like this and, you know, and I would buy these films and I got these for like 25 bucks and this 400 footer for about $50. And, uh, and I was going to make movies or initially with, uh, with, uh, a roll of plus X 7265 shot that sent it out and uh, discovered what shooting expired film was like. Now, I asked the question, why buy it and expired? When you think about the other costs involved, and particularly 15 years ago, the processing was expensive and the scanning was even more expensive and they had minimums. And you ask yourself, why not just shoot really good film, brand new film, if you're gonna spend all that money on developing? The biggest reason I wanted to do uh, expired film was is that it was nostalgic. I liked the old look. There were a lot of great 16 millimeter films out made by people who made 35 millimeter, particularly the, there was a black and white film made by Ilford that was just outstanding uh, for 16 millimeter, but you don't see them anymore. And so when I got my first camera, I went out there to eBay and just started looking for film. And like I said, I found some film, I bought some film, I shot some film and off we went. Uh, what have I discovered? I like the look. I like uh, I like it for experimental. Um, it was fun shooting film stock that was not around anymore because I wished I could have shot it when I was a kid. But the most exciting film that I shot uh, that was expired was um, EXR 7248 100ASA tungsten film. Beautiful film. It made beautiful colors. Here you could see some shots from that film. I really enjoyed that. I shot this particular footage in my NPR. I had an issue with the lens. It's a little bit soft. But nevertheless, I, I had gotten uh, that roll of film for 50 bucks, and you can't find 400 feet of used film out there for under $150 right now on eBay. So then I moved on to some of the, the other films. I've got uh, another one I liked because I was a real odd foot guy. This is... Uh, Orwell, if any of you know Orwell film, and um, this is uh, black and white, uh, 100 speed film, and you can find that once in a while. And every once in a while, this shows up. It's 7231 Kodak Plus X. It's a negative film, and uh, this is more old. This is, you'll see with the Eastman label, it's at least 20, 25 years old. And I just recently shot some of that, and here's, here's an example of that. Um, and as you can see, it's very grainy. Um, it's still got life. It's still got imaging. and uh, But it does look older school. So what I wanted to share with you is, is that when you buy these 400-foot rolls and you have a K3 that's only a 100-foot roll, you're going to need something to roll it off. So I discovered that I ended up getting this um, these cranks from, uh, if you can see the cranks here, um, I got them from eBay. I think I paid $35 for them. And what you end up doing is taking the, the 400 foot hub and you have to get yourself one of these split rails, a split reels, excuse me, so you can put the hub on. And you can find these periodically on, on eBay and they're going for about 50 bucks, so they're not cheap. But you can put the hub on there and you run it onto the, on here. And then you just uh, roll your film off onto your 100 foot. Now, depending upon where the sprockets are, if you have double sprocket, double perforated film, it doesn't matter. You can roll it on and then roll it back. But I usually have to roll it onto one and then roll it back onto another 100 footer. 
Anyway, I wanted to share, this is something you can put together and, and end up dealing with the concept of buying 400 foot rolls and then rolling 100 feet off. Now you better seal off your bathroom really good because that's where my um, dark room is, in my bathroom. And I do it at night when I shut off all the lights and, and there I go, I have a 100 foot roll of film. But so my point here today is, is that from an artistic standpoint, shoot expired film because it's something you want to experiment with, because you want to look, or you just buy the expired film so you have film stock to run through your camera for testing. I'm rambling and I'll be editing some of this stuff and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, once again if you could subscribe and help me out with the YouTube algorithms and uh, and if you have any comments feel free to comment down in the in the comment section and uh, it was a pleasure speaking with you today and I hope you're all well and thank you very much. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.